going on everybody I wasn't gonna shoot a video today I was here walking the dog and I thought I was gonna tell you all something that's been going on with me and thought I'd make it short and sweet at the risk of sounding crazy to everybody but I've had some things going on at my house and you all know what a antenna my family is for craziness crazy stuff but fill y'all in on a little bit of what's been going on my mother-in-law came to live with us about i don't know three months ago and she died about two months ago and she was a she was a mean woman my wife's handling it pretty good they was estranged from each other for a little while and my mother-in-law was pretty mean to her and her sisters and she uh she always kept them into it these three girls and kept them all going against each other and stuff and she loved them but she had a funny way of showing it and it, it's all just a weird relationship she wasn't mean to me she she wouldn't just go over her way to be good to me but she didn't have no sons so she treated me actually a little better than them but anyways she went on hospice and things started happening at my house before she arrived we was getting a room ready for her my wife decided she'd do the right thing she didn't want to put her in a nursing home so we was going to move her in we knew she didn't have long so we was getting the room ready and that's when things started happening in the house and i wasn't the only one in my house to experience it thank goodness for the first time and I'll just tell you kindly what happened. It's nothing major, but uh, the first thing happened is my wife was down there at her mother's house, and I was in the house alone. I was in the bathroom brushing my teeth when uh, I thought I heard a child's voice say, Dad. So I thought my son had come back. Of course, he's 21. So I go through the house, yelling what what i never find nobody but yet i was sure that i heard this so i kind of brushed it off of course the warning thing comes into my mind that we have these warnings but i didn't think too much of it so i guess four or five nights go by again my wife is still with her mother we're still in the process and uh my son's with me this night he's in his room and i'm laying there asleep and it is 2 30 when this happens because i look at the clock i'm laying there asleep and it feels like i feel the like somebody throws a pillow from the foot of the bed and hits me in the head with it i feel the pillow come down across my head well naturally i I think it's my son but at the same time i'm not sure that the pillow wasn't already there maybe piled up on another pillow and just sort of rolled off on top of me so i don't put a whole lot of stock in it so i take my left hand and i just sling it backwards back over my head and when i do i hear a voice say daddy like i've hit something a kid again with a kid and this time I lay there froze. I know what I heard. My thing is, I'm laying there thinking, was I awake or was I asleep? And I'm sitting there thinking, I know I felt this pillow hit me. I know I'm awake. I'm not about to turn over and look, but I know I'm awake. So I start playing through my mind, what could have made that sound? You know, could the dog have made this sound? But you know how when you hear a sound and you can play it exactly over and over in your mind again? And I'm like, no, no. It said daddy in a voice kind of like, how could you do that to me? Daddy. So I lay there. And it's kind of hard to go back to sleep. But after an hour, I'm work, I'm exhausted with all this going on with her mom. That's another reason you haven't seen a lot of videos lately. But uh, so I get up the next day and my son comes in there 
He goes, Dad, I had the weirdest thing happen to me last night. I'm thinking, oh, really? So what happened? He said, I'm in my room on my Xbox. He goes, it's 2.15 in the morning. He said, I'm sitting there on the Xbox talking to my friends on the Bluetooth. And he said, the picture on the wall starts rocking back and forth, sliding. He said, I don't know if somebody ran into the side of the house or what. He goes, but it was really odd. He goes, it gave me a funny feeling. I'm like, wow. That was at 2.15. So, again, there was something really crazy. I told him what happened to me. So then my wife, when I tell her these things, she just laughs it off. Everything, everything. So the final kicker with this is, we had got her mother moved in with us now. And uh, she's laying in bed with her mom late one night. And she tells me the next day, she said, the weirdest thing happened to me. She goes, you're going to think this is weird. And I almost hate to tell you this. She goes, but when I was laying there with my mom, she said, I felt a hand press against my back and push me up close in the bed to my mother. She said, I almost took it as one of your signs, warning signs. She goes, I checked to see if she was still breathing. My wife's like, so I didn't, I wondered if I dreamed this or if I actually, she said, I looked to see if you was there. She goes, but I swear I felt this. So I don't know, I was just wondering if my mother-in-law had brought something with her. But it got there right before she did. We've had a few things happen at my house before. Uh, there's been like two or three times that we've caught an, an EVP. We was trying to though. We was asking questions. That's been a long time ago, me and my son. And then like three times in the last 20 years, it sounded like a garbage truck falling off the Empire State Building. Just loud, crashing, breaking glass. Just the loudest noise you've ever heard. And two times, I was the only one to ever hear it. And then one time, my wife heard it, and I never heard it. So that was three times in, like I say, 20, 21 years that that's happened. So other than that, we've not really had anything. And you know, that, maybe that was a dream. I don't know. What in the heck is that? Some kind of backbone. It's a spine. Well, that's on the wrong side of the graveyard, too. Wow. That's crazier than you all know. Okay. So anyways, that's been... That's been all that's went on. It's kind of quieting down since she passed on. There's only been two things happen. And it happened the same night. Uh, there was like six items fell off the bathroom sink in our bedroom. It's like a, my wife's curling iron and couple of other makeup items all just fell in the floor of course the curling iron could have fell and knocked them all on the floor and then the next morning that very same morning about six o'clock a pitcher fell off of the dresser in the floor other than that nothing else has happened in the two months that was about two weeks ago anyways i'll keep you all informed if anything else happens i hadn't really told nobody else I hadn't told anybody about this. So y'all was the first ones to hear about it. But uh, anyway, that's kind of craziness. That's what was going on at my house. Lack of videos. and Just a little bit more of the environment we live in around here. But anyways, I'll hop off from here and let y'all tell me how paranoid I am or how crazy I am. Where's my straight jacket at? But anyhow, before I go, with all this coronavirus going on, I'd like to put a smile on everybody's face if I could. Uh, 
doctor pulls up at the bank. He's going to withdraw some money out of the bank. He's an older doctor, you know, he's on up in age. He reaches in his pocket to get his ink pen to fill out the withdrawal slip. And uh, he pulls out a thermometer. Starts trying to fill out the piece of paper and his wife's sitting there in the car with him. She says, honey, that's, that's not your ink pen. She says, that's a thermometer. He looks at it and he goes, oh, great. That means some butthole's got my ink pen. 